Hello viewers, this is Sushmita Nath welcoming you to class 10 science NCRT. In this video, I will discuss plant nutrition that is photosynthesis which is a part of the chapter life processes. As you all already know that carbon and energy requirements of the autotrophic organism are fulfilled by photosynthesis and the raw materials are carbon dioxide and water which are converted into carbohydrates in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Thus, photosynthesis is the process by which green plants prepare food by using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. The carbohydrates which are not used immediately by plants are stored in the form of starch which serves as the internal energy reserve to be used as and when required by the plant. This is somewhat similar situation in animal where some of the energy derived from the food we eat is stored in our body in the form of glycogen. Photosynthesis takes place in three main steps. Step 1 absorption of light energy by chlorophyll. Step 2 has again two parts. Part 1 is conversion of light energy into chemical energy and the second part is utilization of this energy to split water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen gas. Step 3 reduction of carbon dioxide by hydrogen to form carbohydrate. In general, the first two steps of photosynthesis are light dependent. That is, these events occur only in the presence of light. Hence, it is called the light reaction. The third step, however, is independent of the presence of light and can occur even in darkness. Hence, it is called the dark reaction. Now let us understand how plants obtain the raw materials necessary for photosynthesis. Light. Light is essential for plants and the main source of light for photosynthesis is the sun. If plants are deprived of light for a considerable period of time, they die. Water. Water is one of the essential raw materials for photosynthesis. This water requirement is fulfilled by plants from the soil through their root system. Due to transpiration pull, an adequate supply of water for photosynthesis is always available. Chlorophyll Chlorophyll is the green pigment present in leaves. If we observe a cross section of a leaf under a microscope, we can see cells containing green dot like structures called chloroplasts which contain chlorophyll. Chlorophyll pigments have the ability to capture useful solar radiations from the sun. These radiations are used as source of energy. As non-green plants and animals lack chlorophyll, they cannot convert solar energy into chemical energy and hence they are heterotrophs. Entire photosynthetic machinery lies in the chloroplasts, the green colored plastids. These organelles contain chlorophyll pigment. Carbon dioxide. A source of carbon is essential for the synthesis of sugars. Carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere is the main source of carbon which plants use in photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is trapped through stomata present in the leaves. Stomata are tiny pores present in the leaves through which exchange of gases takes place. Each stoma has a pair of guard cells which control the opening and closing of stomatal pore. 
when water enters the guard cells, it swells and the pore opens. And when the guard cells lose water, it shrinks and pore closes. It is important to note here that exchange of gases occurs across the surface of stems, roots and leaves as well. Since large amount of water can also be lost through these stomata, the plant closes these pores when it does not need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. So far, we have talked about how autotrophs meet their energy requirements and also obtain various raw materials needed for photosynthesis. But they also need other raw materials for building their body. Water used in photosynthesis is taken up from the soil by the roots in terrestrial plants. Other materials like nitrogen, phosphorus and magnesium are taken up from the soil. Nitrogen is an essential element used in the synthesis of proteins and other compounds. It is taken up in the form of inorganic nitrates or nitrites or it is taken up as organic compounds which have been prepared by bacteria from atmospheric nitrogen. In my next video, I shall discuss the topic heterotrophic nutrition. Till then, enjoy learning.